Have you ever been to the doctor and they put the little clip on the end of your finger and from that they can tell what your heart rate is and your oxygen saturation? Well, I have, and so I decided to, uh, uh, in order to figure out how it works, to build my own. So uh, what I'd like to do is show you what I've gotten so far, which is, still, which is pretty cool, um, and then go into detail about uh, how it works. So uh, first, a quick overview. So um, if you've ever been outside uh, at night with a flashlight, and then shine the flashlight through your cheek or through your finger, you can see that your finger glows red. So we all know that blood is red, and so as the blood is going through your body, it's pushing um, oxygen-rich red blood through all of your fingers and the rest of your body, um, and then it gets absorbed and turned to blue. And so basically the way the little things work is the clip goes onto your finger, and it uses LEDs to shine light through your finger, and then measures the light on the other side. This chip right here is a light sensor. It's um, got a, an array on the top, and we can uh, tell it how sensitive to be, and it outputs a frequency based on how much light is hitting it. Then we can use our Arduino or a uh, microcontroller to measure the frequency or the pulses and uh, turn that into a value of how much light is hitting the sensor. We have an Arduino that is connected to a computer through a USB port, and then on the other side, we've got a um, custom-made board with a light sensor. In addition to the light sensor, we also have two LEDs, both a red LED and an infrared LED. And so if we place our finger over the sensor like this and then get our light source and put it behind our finger, then what we're measuring is that we're measuring the amount of light left over after uh, it's been absorbed by our finger. So with the red LED, we're shining a red light. It's going through our finger. Um, the red, some amount of the red light is being absorbed by our pulse, and we're measuring just the leftover light uh, that has not been absorbed by our pulse. So what you're looking at right now is a graph of the light absorption from a red LED. And as you can see, as my heart pumps blood through my body and into my finger, you can see that change over time, and you can see my heartbeat. So uh, one of the next steps is to use uh, to write some software to be able to detect these heart, the, the beats and then calculate the heart rate. And so when we turn on the red LED, um, the light that's absorbed from measuring the red LED is, uh, is the oxygen-rich red blood. The infrared LED doesn't care about the oxygen-rich blood, so we use that basically as a baseline. So we're going, to we're going to compare the light that's absorbed from the infrared LED with the light that's absorbed with the red LED, and that will give us our oxygen saturation. So the next step is for me to build a, something I, a sleeve that I can stick my finger into and have both LEDs on there so I can turn them on one at a time. The graph that you saw earlier is a graph of just the red LED, and that's uh, because of the fact that I don't have that uh, connected yet. So that's, that part's coming up in the next... Uh, the next series, portion of the series.